The first thing that we have in the queue for today is an A1278 and it says that it's not charging. So first things first, let's take a look at the circuit that's going to be responsible for charging on this. Now what is that circuit called by the way? It's called the one wire circuit. The way this works, the charger is over here. This is the DC inboard and the charger has 18 volts, ground and adapter sense. Adapter sense is where the computer is going to talk to the charger. So that doesn't get to talk directly to the computer. Before it gets to talk to the system management controller on the computer, it needs to go through U6900. That's that if some drunk dumbass starts plugging it in like... That while they're drunk or high, don't want to just discriminate on drunk people there, stoners too never know, so that the 18 volts does not go to the adapter sense line. So if the SMC sees the three volt data line of adapter sense, it's happy. If the SMC sees the 18 volts of the DC in, it's sad. In order to protect against that kind of thing from happening, you have U6900. U6900 is going to allow the ext, external, as in the charger, to talk to the int, internal, as in the chip inside the computer on the Sys1 wire line. Now, if we look at where Sys1 wire goes to, it goes to U4900. U4900 is the system management controller. This is the SMC. This is my system management controller. Now, in order for that to work, that chip needs to get power. And where is it going to get power from? Where is U6900 going to get its voltage from? Why? It's going to get its voltage from its VCC pin. VCC, VDD, VIN, whatever on the top. And that is going to come from U6901. Now, U6901 is a logic gate. When it has voltage on A and B, It'll shoot power out Y. But in order for this to do anything or to have any power to shoot out of Y, it needs to get power. And its VCC or voltage pin, as usual, is going to be on the top. That's typically always put on the top of the chip. That's standard. So if you look down here at, let's say, any other random chip, voltage in on this one, on the top. So we have this and PP3V42 underscore G3 hot is that voltage. Now, PP3V42 underscore G3 hot is going to be present on pin 5. If we zoom in on the board view, that is over here. And we can easily click on the board view there and just see that it shows up and everywhere it's supposed to show up on the board because of Paul Daniels' wonderful software. We're going to see if we're getting 3.42 volts there. And it seems we are. A common problem on these machines is that this little V over here winds up getting destroyed. This one, it corrodes away. And then no more PP3V42 over there. But we do have PP3V42 over here. And yet, there's no light in the charger. Huh. That's no good. All right, so let's check SMC, BC, AC, okay? Present. And let's see if it's shooting out voltage. 3.4. Good. Huh. So why no charger light? Well, that's what we have to find out. Let's see if we're getting PP bus G3 hot. Do we have our PP bus? Our PP bus is 12.6. SMC is running. Okay, this is an interesting one. All right, so the SMC is covered in pubic hair. That's common. That's expected. U6900 actually looks pretty good over here. This may just be a bad DC inboard. I'm going to see what adapter sense is. I bet that we're leaking DC voltage into the adapter sense line. Adapter sense is going to be pin 5. And yep, so check it out. Adapter sense is giving me 13.4 volts. So adapter sense is going to be pin 5. Come on, mouse. Adapter sense is pin 5. Now, this DC inboard is obviously bad. The reason I say that it's bad is because it's leaking the adapter voltage, the charging voltage, onto the adapter sense line. Adapter sense is a data line, and that data line typically tops out around 2.9 to 3 volts. The reason that this chip is over here, U6900, is so that if the DC inboard fails, or if a drunk person is trying to plug this in and they short the 16 volts to the adapter sense line because they're not plugging the connector in properly, it keeps that 16 volts from going to the SMC. Without U6900 here, if we were to simply tie the system management controller directly to the adapter sense line on the charger up here, that 16 volts that is leaking from the 16 volts of the charger to adapter sense would go directly to the SMC and that would wind up in you know, with, a, with us having a destroyed board. So the SMC, again, is going to be this chip down here, U4900. And this controls most of the functions in the computer, turning on, turning off, sleep, charging the battery, fans, sensors. All of these things are going to be controlled by the system management controller. If we send 16 volts to that, that's very bad. So I'm going to get a new DC inboard and see if that fixes our problem.
All right, so we got ourselves a replacement charging port. By the way, you can buy these on store.rossmangroup.com. One thing that I'm particularly amazed at is that this almost actually looks new. Trust me, I'm as surprised as all of you are. Look at this. Because this machine stopped being made like years ago. Years ago. And look at this. Because usually when we sell these, this admittedly is not really new looking because they take them out of machines that were demo models at stores. And you'll see that this thing over here is usually disgusting marks all over it and is, the rubber piece is nasty. And I'm usually expecting that to be kind of nasty because, again, it's an old-ass machine. But surprisingly, this batch actually isn't that bad. So we're going to plug in a new charging port into the machine and see if that changes our adapter sense voltage and fixes our problem. Hopefully, we're no longer sending 14 to 16 volts over to our SMC and we get a light. So as you can see we now have a light on the charger. And that light in the charger is with a replacement DC inboard. So that is how you diagnose whether or not the DC inboard is bad on a MacBook. Check the adapter sense line. The adapter sense line should be 2.9, 3.3 volts around there. That's a data signal. If you're getting 10 or 8 or 15 or 18 volts on it, that means that the DC inboard is bad and it's leaking the charger's main voltage, 16 to 18 volt power line, into the adapter sense data line, which is keeping the machine from turning on. That's what the one wire circuit is for in these machines. And that's that. So with that, we move on to the next board.